My name is Ben Smith and I have a condition called Athetoid Cerebral Palsy. So at birth, um, I deprived of oxygen because the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck and that, and that caused my disability. I had no idea that what I was about to um, encounter with Ben, I knew nothing about, no. The doctors gave my mum and dad the unfortunate news that I won't be able to walk or talk um, ever in my life. And when, um, when, the, when the doctors said that to my mum and dad, um, they were very, very upset. Uh, as it was their very first child, they didn't honestly didn't know what to do. At first, I was in and out of hospital just to monitor my condition to see if it was going to get worse or, or better. I knew something was wrong with him, with the way he held himself um, and kind of anger because I was led to believe in a roundabout way there was nothing wrong with him by doctors. So I had a physio to help me walk um, that was to stretch my muscles um, and to see if my posture was right when I was walking. Um, but I, I basically taught myself how to walk, uh, which was amazing. The way that I, that I taught myself how to talk was through chewing gum. Um, chewing gum has helped me um, in, in the way of like uh, mouthing the like, words or sentences. So when I started to walk and talk, I was about three to four years old. Um, my uncle brought over from America a toy truck. And when I was at my nan's one day, my nan said, um, come over here, Ben. And then I took my first um, ever steps. My mum was literally sobbing her, oh, her heart out um, as I was told that I wasn't able to walk or talk ever in my life. I did go to a mainstream school. Um, my mum and dad didn't want me to go to a special school. When he went to school, I was reassured that he didn't seem to give the vibe of being a child that would be bullied. He's very outgoing um, and has sort of a friendly smile um, and we had no problems whatsoever. He was, you know, went into to the school with no problems at all. At first making friends, I was a bit nervous about it um, due to the fact that I knew no, n nobody at first um, and I didn't know what they were going to think of me being disabled and um, having special help through school. Um, but when I joined, um, I got introduced to a lovely class um, where I met one of my best friends. Ben's one of the people that doesn't, he doesn't let anything stop him, you know, if he's got his mind on something, he'll just do it. He's a very strong character, he doesn't do anything. He, always does what he wants to do. All felt like year seven, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11, whatever. He, like I said before, he doesn't, he doesn't let anything stop him. So if he would like, obviously knowing his condition and stuff like that, like if, if it was any different, he would let that define him and not let him do anything. But like, I remember this conversation I had with him in like year 10, nine or something like, he, he like, he was getting really like sad and stuff like how like sometimes like if he wanted to learn to drive like he would like it's so much harder for someone like him and like compared to normal people like just people with non disabilities like. I have started to take driving lessons um, in 2018 uh, and I'm doing very very well um, and in 2019 I took my first uh, theory lesson but unfortunately, I was nine questions off passing um, everything. 
that my car has to be specially adapted by having a left foot accelerator, uh, which is in a normal car, is where the clutch is. Um, that would be my accelerator. And I also have to have a knob on the steering wheel, um, as I can't use both hands. So I have what's called a Loginson's lollipop on my steering wheel to, to help me to drive. And I have to drive a, a automatic car and I can't do manual because of my, because of my right foot that doesn't work as well. Um, and hopefully soon I'll be able to start driving. I'm currently studying uh, level three year two media and I am loving it it's it's been a real a real relief to find something that I'm good at but also isn't too much that I won't be able to cope with the amount of work that is a involved with the course. I think it's done really well um, and I you know, at the beginning, I think um, there were a couple of things, you know, Ben kind of struggled with. M more so, I think, like the practical side, um, but over the years, you know, he's kind of really um, done loads of kind of like different training. Um, he's kind of um, gone out, tried new things, um, and has kind of really improved with that. So, yeah. so I find the practical um, stages of my course the, the best. Um, because it gets me out and about socialising with my friends and sometimes my, my family. However, um, I do have to have some help with the camera um, and some cameras are very, very heavy and my, my balance isn't the greatest. Um, and therefore, I need either one of my friends or a staff member to carry around the camera for me. The theory side of the course is where I struggle at, um, probably the, the most, as um, I'm not great with my words and the way that I structure my work, um, which is sometimes very, very aggravating for myself, as I have to ask um, one of one of my uh, staff members or my NSA to kind of put it in, in a way that I would be able to understand. After my final year at college, uh, studying at level three year two media, um, I will be doing the HND. I think Ben is made for the HND. Um, you know, I think he, he's gonna really kind of excel in that. Um, he'll be able to develop his skills, um, you know, more so than he already has. I'm very, very excited to um, start the HND. Um, as there will be some students I have not worked with before, uh, like my friend Tom, um, throughout the two years of media that I've been stud studying, um, I've not been with anyone like that. And also, I can't wait to hopefully get myself a Mac and myself a, a good camera so I can start uh, producing my own content, not as at college, but whilst I'm at home with my friends and family. Ben has a very um, positive outlook on life. Um, we've never hidden anything from him. He knows that this is what it's going to be like for the rest of his life. Um, he faces challenges with great um, enthusiasm. Um, and I'm very, very proud of him. We never ever thought we'd get to this stage of him being quite independent from the diagnosis that we were told in the beginning. Do you have anything to say to any parents out there going through a similar situation with their child? Be open and upfront with your child with a disability. Um, it is what it is. You can only make it better. If you think on the negative side, then their life is going to be negative. Um, Everything that they achieve is a bonus and for me it's worth seeing Ben happy um, and facing the challenges that he does every single day. I'm quite in independent on 
everything that I like to do and I'm not afraid to try new stuff if it's dangerous or not dangerous um, I just l love being creative and hopefully this will get me into the field one day.